We are in front of Spiral Abyss, and that's because last time I opened this, which actually was today, I was trying to get Primo Gems for Ayato. As you can see, I have 19 Primo Gems. I have like none. We've already used up our little five free wishes for this month, and that's because I was desperately trying to get Ayato. Ayato would be a really good addition onto this account, and it's just a matter of are we going to get him or are we not going to get him? So I was trying to do Spiral Abyss to try and get some Primo Gems, but um, if you know from last time, my last Swords Only video, which I don't think has been out, I think came out like what, like three weeks ago. The last time you saw Swords Only was three weeks ago. I do apologize for that, but I just had to take a break from this account after getting our sweet, sweet girl, Dea, which a lot of people have been saying that like, hey, Dea's good, you know, give her a chance. And I think I will, but not on this account, obviously, because this is Swords Only. But a couple of things have happened between then and now. For one, we have a Layla. We have a Layla. I got Layla off of the standard banner recently, and I was super excited about that because even if we didn't get, you know, Farina at the time, we still got a new character, and it was a sword character, and it's from standard banner. So I still need to level her up and get her weapon together and figure out what kind of build I want to go with her. I really need to go and grind the Neil the Neil Apollo Lotuses, which I think I did open up. I can't remember if I opened up a statue or seven in um, Samaru or not, but I'm gonna like kind of stop with the whole I can only move regions when I 100% that region. I think I'm just gonna stop doing that. Still focus on 100%ing, but not so much like uh, in a matter of like I want to strictly only do this. It's just like we get to it when we get to it kind of thing. I also ended up getting a Farazon, but obviously with Farazon, she's a bow user, so we can't use her. But I also got a Kirara. I got Kirara and from the from Ayato's banner. So, which made me really, really happy. I really wanted Kirara. I put that on the community tab. And then Kuki, I already have as well as she was already C1. So if I, that's nice that we already had her. So I basically just kind of pulled her off of the back burner and just moved her up so we could start using her. Thankfully her banner is happening. I would say her banner, but thankfully she's on the current banner because I literally do not have Inazuma open just yet, so I really need to work on getting like moving towards Inazuma. Um, I actually, I believe, I use Milu, Kuki, Kirara, and I was between Bennett and Lynette in Spiral Abyss. They did pretty decently, so they still need to be leveled up some more, but they're pretty decent. Um, Kiara's build right now is she has a all HP build, and I believe I just threw on an energy recharge sword for her since she does need energy recharge. Same goes for Kuki, same weapon. I don't really like this weapon that much, but it's all we have. And Kuki is on a all elemental mastery build. That is how I'm going to be building them. I have her built as a sub DPS. Kirara works really, really well with Kuki and Nilu. So I'm super excited for that. And then we have Bennett or Lynette or Chi Chi, you know, whether it be for healing or for swirl, whichever one. But really, these three are the most important right now that make up majority of the team. So these three work super well together. And then the last character is just like, you know. So I really want to build Layla as well. We're going to start working on her her soon. So as of right now, the sword characters that we have are Layla, we have Xing Cho, so I probably will bring, like, start working on Xing Cho at some point, just not right now at the moment. Um, who else besides that? Okay, yeah, and then we have Lynette, Chi Chi, Bennett, Kirara, Kuki, and Milu. So that is how things are looking right now, despite the fact that we did, in fact, um, lose to our sweets, um, you know, we lost to our sweet Dea, um, it is what it is. We did get also, uh, I guess Genshin got some award or something the other day, and so they've been giving, I say the other day, but last week, but from, I believe, the third to the fifth, or the second to the fifth, you get 800 Prima Gems in the mail, so I've just been using basically, I think that's like four free pools, I think. Yeah, that's like three or four pools, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I've just been using them to try and do what I can. I would like to get Ayato, honestly, before his banner is over, but I don't know if that's going to happen because I really, I really don't want to use any money. I've already... Um, 
Did I? No, I haven't used any money on any of my accounts, except like on my main NA, my main EU, and that was pretty much it. But I don't want to use any money on these accounts. It's just like, if we get it, we get it. If we don't, we don't. We'll just have to wait until the very next, like, I to rerun. Because I think it's been a while since he's had a rerun. So it's just like, not telling when he's going to have one. So currently right now, our pity is, our pity right now is 30. So I'm not expecting an early Ayato. Like, I'm expecting, like, a late Ayato. So probably an Ayato we get when it's, like, when we hit, like, 60 or 70 pity or something like that. Like I said, I'm not expecting an early Ayato, which sucks. I would love an early Ayato, but I don't think we're going to get one. I think the thing reset, so apparently I have a lot of these. So we may possibly have this do our commissions and be able to make another wish. It would be nice to get an early Ayato since I am guaranteed. It's just a matter of like when are we going to get him? Oh, that was 82 primo jumps. Jeez. Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and do our commissions. I think the thing reset so we can. I've already done my. Co I think I've already done my commissions today. Now that I think about it, I've completed all of this event too. I like speed ran this event, which I love this event. I'm so happy that this is as good as it was because the last little event they had us doing was so bad. Like, it was awful. I hated it. Yeah, I've already did my things today. Let's see, what can I do where I can get 20 Primo Gems? I could run around activating... I didn't activate a Statue of Seven and Sumeru. Let's activate a Statue of Seven and Sumeru. That's the Chasm. Because I'm gonna have to start grinding... Oopsie. I'm gonna have to start grinding for Layla pretty soon, and like I said, I kind of want to just stop with the strict, like, you can't move on regions until you 100 percent it. It's just kind of like, at this point, who cares, <laughs> like, to be honest. Alrighty, so we're just gonna... Not to mention, since I have, uh, Milu, it's easier if I just activate the Statues of Sevens because it's just like, it's gonna be harder for me to find the materials when I can't see the freaking map. <laughs> Oh, is it the little R and R things? It is. I heard this quest is like super long and it's very, very tedious. <laughs> I'm not excited to do the R and R quest. I don't have a single like. I don't have a single um, account that has actually done the R and R quest, but I heard it's very, 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 very long and very tedious. But it grants you like so many primo gems. <laughs> Let's see. We have 151. We need like 10 more. I wish I didn't do the test runs because I could have gotten some Primo gems. Um, I could attempt floor the next floor of Spiral Abyss, but I doubt I actually will be able to. Um, is this still in? Okay, no, we'll do this one. But I doubt I will be able to actually like get anything from it because of the fact I, I i don't what i'm saying is i don't think i'm gonna be able to do that well because my characters are still basically like pretty under leveled for that particular one i think they need to be level like 60 or something so it's just like whilst i might be able to possibly do okay with them it's like i wouldn't be able to do the best with them so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate this next uh statue of seven and then activate a couple teleportation waypoints and then that'll be that because we only need like 10 more primo gems and then we'll have one primo gem until unless we get primo gems from like um you know like quest and uh, world quest, uh, arc and quest, as well as just exploration in general. But I'm like, once I got Dea, I just completely kind of stopped working on this account for now because I was like, I need a freaking break. Like, that was depressing. I'm so sorry. Like, that was really, really depressing. And I was just like, I could have had a Farina. I love Farina so much. And She's an amazing character, not the best healer, but especially since with Farina, you sacrifice a crap ton of damage. And if you're a stickler for damage, you like damage, then Farina is definitely, you don't want to use her. I think that form is called Nima, and then there's Osa. 
and you really want to use her in her Ulsa form, not her Numa form, unless you really, 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 really need her as a healer. I also recommend for Farina to get the weapon that you get from fishing. Um, that's the one that looks like a pipe. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like this really, really long name that I don't remember. And I think it had like, it had a very interesting name, but I don't remember what it's called. But definitely that weapon is really good on her. I think right now I have her on a Favonius sword. And that's like the best I can do right now is a Favonius sword. Let's see, maybe it might not. No, it probably would be faster for me to get a teleportation. Wait, wait, um... Okay, so we got our five Prima gems. I'm expecting to get a blue wish. Uh, if I get lucky, I'm like hoping for early Ayato, but like, you're not gonna get an early Ayato. I really want an early Ayato, though, so so bad. Like, I feel like I haven't gotten a five star on this account in like forever, besides like Chi Chi, and I think she came from the standard banner, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, let's see. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get anything. My poor three Primo gems. Yeah. So I think the goal is I really need to start working on gathering materials for Layla and um, Milu because they're stuff from Sumeru and we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So let's actually start looking for the Mila Paula Lotuses and so I can get her leveled up and stuff like that. So it looks like we are exactly in the right area for a good bit of them. Um, we only need three, I believe. Yeah, we only need three and then we already have two of these. I think I farmed these not too long ago. So in reality, I think we should get um, 13, and then I can ascend her, yeah, I can ascend her to, uh, 50. Oh, one pretty much, and thank you. Right, so there's that one. This makes me wish I had, like, that this wasn't swords only, and I wish I had a Tinari, because of the fact that, like, the Tainari, Tinari, however you want to pronounce it, um, it makes me wish I had him, because he can find the local specialties, but, like, Man, I have my map open though. I have my interactive map open. Let's see, it's right there. And then here. I think that's all of the ones over here. I feel like I won't get too much grinding out of this like episode. Either that or if I do grind a whole bunch, definitely a lot of it is going to be cut out. So I feel like even though this, I'm sitting here recording and I haven't edited yet, I feel like this is going to end up being like a 30 or 40 minute video unless I condense a lot of the, unless I condense a lot of the content. <laughs> okay, so we can basically get three, oh, whoop. okay, we can get three from over here, so we get three from here, so it's 11 and I only need two more. But we're going to get um, all of what's in that one area that I marked off. And not just like two of them, I'd rather just get all of them. And then we'll be able to level up our Layla to 50, I believe, which will be great. Okay, we finally freaking made it up here. I was struggling so hard to get up this wall. My gosh, okay, so there is, I think, 10 over here. So we'll just get all 10. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I lied, there's actually nine, but we got all of them in this area, so we can actually go ahead and level up our Layla. Okay, so here's the issue that we're like, quote unquote, posing. So for one, we're definitely going to put Layla as a support. Um, since she can also be a shield, it looks like her support build is better than her sub DPS build. So we're going to put her as support. See, I'm looking at, as of right now, I'm looking at like a build for her. She actually works with like, um, she actually works pretty well with Ayaka. And if Ayaka has a rerun, it's like, you know, I would be fine to use her. And then she works well with Bennett too. 
as well as Shincho. So I feel like if I use Layla, it'd have to be with a different team comp. But so far, we actually are working with like, I think, seven built characters or like work in progress characters, which is great. It honestly is super great, but I am really feeling this team right here. Um, with this and then like our side being like Bennett or uh, Lynette, but I really want to probably get together a secondary team for Layla at some point so we can use her and I probably will end up building Xingqiu at some point and then probably maybe put um, because there's I only have so many characters and she does work with Kuki so I could definitely put Kuki so we could do like Layla, Bennett, Kuki, and Xingqiu for the most part because it's just like whilst they all work in different like team comps and stuff like that they probably might actually work decently together and that'll be okay because it's just like you only have so many characters you can only build so many teams so it's just like when you have certain characters. Let's see so I'm probably gonna go for a support build. Like I said, I'm wondering if she's like, um, I wonder if she's like Zhongli where it really helps if you build all HP on her. So we're going to do that. I really want to get together a team that can work with Layla. So it probably will end up being, um, it probably is going to end up being definitely Kuki and then Layla. Bennett and Shincho and I'm not going to use this team like right away because I want to make sure Shincho gets where he needs to be which could I even I don't think I can because I haven't fought in ocean it yet but we have his materials as well and we just need to fight the ocean it maybe like two or three times in order to have like enough to get him to 50. I only need to fight Ocean Ed hopefully once or twice. I'm hoping it's only once. So I think we should definitely start working on that because I'm going to have to include him in at some point and then I think that's all of the sword characters we have at the moment that we can work on. And then I think I'm going to do some grinding in the, the talent domain and then probably do a couple board bosses and call it there because I don't want my video to get too 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 long and it's just like I don't know if I can sit through editing three hours of video especially if I'm trying to get it out this week so that's why I try and keep my recordings to at least an hour and if I go over an hour no more than like an hour and 20 minutes I say because it's just like I can't sit through three hours of recording especially when I have to have a video in such a certain amount of time so that's how I managed to try and get stuff out like twice a week honestly like if I could just I think during like the week of Christmas because I the last day I like work is the 22nd and so then I have like all the way up until I think the 2nd of January so I could record like all that week probably and just chill and like do whatever the heck I want so I might consider doing that I just want to record like a whole bunch since I will have the time to since I won't be having to deal with work and school I am drinking a Calpico right now and the strawberry flavor is my favorite, but like what actually is Calpico? Like it's not a carbonated and it tastes exactly like strawberry. Like it reminds me of like strawberry milk or like a, a milkshake, but it's not. And I only want to run it once just so I have some time to do um, the actual like world bosses for um, the characters. So like I said, we should really work on Ocean Ed so I can actually start building Shincho. And let's see, was that like somewhat enough for her? Was that like okay? It's okay. <laughs> we'll come back to that, but I really want to work on um, Shincho's world boss for the most part. So we're going to do maybe... this team, but we'll switch this out for her. I mean, Layla could maybe work. And then we'll just change this to Lynette. We're level 50 characters. 
And then Oceanid is level 41, so we might actually be able to survive. And then we have two shielders, essentially. Okay, so we only got one, which means we're gonna have to fight Oceanid again. Um, what's another boss we can do in the meantime? I think I'll do like two more. We'll, we'll do two more. Let's do... Uh, I still need one more of that. Let's work on... Cookies in the chasm, and I don't feel like doing the chasm right now. So we're definitely gonna have to come and do the chasm at some point. Oh man. Inquisitus Baptist. I don't even know where those are. Where are those? It says Sumaru. I hope I don't have to do a story quest for that. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> so let's do Perpetual Caliber just because of the fact that um, Perpetual Caliber is like something that multiple characters need and I think that would be better to just do that. And then we'll come back and do Ocean Aid and I think we'll end it from there. And then we're gonna do some farming off camera or we can just do a whole farming video if that's something you would like to see. So I'll probably, if we do something like that, I definitely will um, probably like cut out parts where I'm doing my dailies and then um, be like, okay, this is what we're farming today and to do that. So if you want to see, if you want the next source only to be like a farming video in terms of like local specialties and mob drops and stuff like that, let me know. I really like just farming videos because that's definitely something you can put on in the background. But um, yeah, like I feel like because we had to spend a lot of time like uh, leveling up like certain stuff and doing like puzzles and things like that it kind of takes up a good portion of the video so it's just like i just would like to at some point do just like a farming video that was so fast <laughs> we didn't but we have two and that's enough to level up shinjo we have a cryo damage bonus hp that's all good and hp that's actually good because a lot of our characters need hp i kind of want to keep rocking with this team right here this is a pretty decent team um Definitely, we really need to work on doing the chasm and working towards the Inazuma quest. I need to figure out where Kuki's, I mean, I keep calling her Kuki. I need to figure out where Kirara's uh, world boss is. I really hope this doesn't need a quest because I really don't feel like doing a quest, but somewhere in Sumeru. So we're just going to need to figure that out. Um, we're going to need to work on getting a lot of characters as like world boss materials, but Today it was like Xingqiu and a little bit of Layla slash Nilu's and then from this point on it's just going to be grinding as well for Primo Gems because I only have 74 and as of right now the um, commissions haven't reset yet so I'm just kind of like I just want Ayato at this point he would make a really good addition. He's for real would make a really good addition and he's free to play friendly and we like free to play free to, free to play free to play friendly characters yes so um i don't know what we're gonna do about weapons like i said like five of the characters need like the same weapon because it's like their best in slot unless i switch them out when i'm not using a specific character which i could do but again it's just like three of those characters need the same thing and i don't know what we're gonna do about that but we'll figure it out um so see you next time then